Welcome to Cat School. In this training lesson, we are nice. going to talk all about using a chair to elevate your training. All right, let's get started. Hi, we are Julian Jones, and we show you how to teach your cat fun tricks and practical skills to enrich their life and strengthen your bond. In this lesson, I'm going to show you five ways to use a chair to improve your training. The chair is a perfect starting point for beginners. Is your cat ready for school? Let's use the chair to find out. The first goal is to see if you have food that your cat will work for. All I'm doing is placing the food on the chair and encouraging Jones to jump up to get it. Then I place the food on the floor. Same thing. I want to see if Jones will jump off to get it. If your cat will jump on and off a chair to get a treat, you are ready to continue your training. If not, stay here and try to find a chair that makes it easier for your cat and focus on building your cat's food motivation with our other resources. Now we're going to use the chair to teach your cat to follow a finger target or a target stick. So all I'm doing is placing the treat down and pointing to it. I'm showing Jones that it's worthwhile to approach my finger or target stick because he's going to find food there. The clicker does two things. It tells the cat which behavior they did correctly and that a reward is coming. By clicking the split second Joe's nose gets close to the target stick, I'm letting him know that that's the correct behavior and that he's earning a reward for that. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get to the point where my cat will do the behavior without seeing a treat first? The chair makes it easy to solve this problem because the cat can't actually see that there's a treat up there. So you can tease one out of them and then show them that they get the reward after they do the behavior. So here again, Jones jumps up and then the reward comes after. For savvier cats, you might need to pretend to put a treat down, but soon the cat will learn Yay. they do the behavior and earn their reward. If your cat thinks the target stick is a toy, the chair can help with that as well. Quickly click as soon as your cat's Yay. paws hit the ground, but before they have a chance to paw at the Yay. stick. By doing this, you can teach your cat the appropriate way to interact with the target stick. Good. If you keep practicing with your cat, you should see them start to offer good behaviors. Yes. That is the goal of training. If you have a cat that's grabby or has trouble sitting still, you can use the chair to teach some self-control. The goal is to click and reward your cat for sitting on the chair. Using the chair, you can turn your cat into a calm and focused student. The chair is an excellent boundary for grabby cats that try to get at your treats. Using the chair, you can communicate to your cat that sitting and staying is what's going to earn rewards. If they start to get too excited or paw at you, simply take a step away and then click as soon as they put four paws back down on the chair. Make sure you have a clear signal that tells your cat it's okay for them to go off their spot. Like children in a classroom, the goal for training multiple cats is that each one understands to stay at their spot. Using chairs, it's easy to have multiple cats learning in a classroom. Before putting the two cats together, make sure each one understands to sit and stay at their chair. If they're too close and it's distracting, you can always move the chairs further apart. Once both cats understand to stay at their spot, you can nice. make the training a little bit harder by working with one cat on the floor while the other cat stays on the chair. Snuffle mats are a great addition to this setup because you can reward your cat on the chair by hiding the treats in the mat, which will keep them busy. And this way you have more time to work with both of your students. 
The chair is an excellent prop for trick training. Teaching nice. your cat tricks on a chair can also help because it creates a nice boundary for them. Try to build your trick repertoire on a chair and see how many your cat can do. For training tricks like shoulder jumps, I can use the chair to help get the cat a little bit higher and position myself a little bit lower. Eventually I can fade the chair out of the picture so he just jumps on my shoulder. I think the bell trick looks a lot cuter with the cat on a chair. When it comes to tricks on a chair, the best part is being able to work your cat at a distance. You can pick any of the behaviors that you've taught on the chair and try to take a step back and continue the training. Jones knows the signal for sit pretty, so now I can introduce some distance. Adding distance is a great step for any of the tricks that you've worked on. And if you're ever planning on doing more training with your cat, like for the movies or in commercials, your cat must learn to work at a distance. <laughs> for nail trims, brushing, and other grooming behaviors, the chair is an excellent tool as a part of your training. When your cat jumps on the chair, they're saying, I'm ready to participate in this. And if you've gone too far or made them uncomfortable, your cat is free to leave. It's your cat's choice to participate in the training and the chair is a great way for them to let you know that you're doing okay, you're not going too fast, and they're a willing participant. A chair is a perfect piece of equipment for cat agility. You just need a few things to be able to do some cat agility. I like to set up a jump, a chair, and an object to go around. I'm just using some wet food on a spoon to reward Joan yes. for doing the agility. I love doing a little bit of cat agility with Jones, especially before bed to help him sleep better through the night. The combination of exercise and mental stimulation is perfect to help your cat have a more restful sleep. Is your goal to get your cat outside on leash walks? Chair training is a perfect way to transition from indoors to outdoors. Although I like to let Jones sniff and explore outside, I also want him to listen to me so that I can keep him safe. Chair training is a great way to set the tone of our walks. On our walks, I'll often ask Jones to go on and off objects. This is another way that I maintain a connection with him while we're outside. Thanks for watching and I hope you're inspired to elevate your training with using chairs.